Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for October 20th, 2020. Well, yesterday I was gone most of the day, but doggone it, um, I had mentioned the possibility of a pop and drop to be careful of that possible pop and drop. And that seems to be, well, that is exactly what played out in the market. As fears of coronavirus and uncertainty over the stimulus bill really weighed on the market. Unfortunately, that left behind some pretty ugly candle patterns. As you can see here, this is a nasty looking evening star pattern. And it really kind of confirmed um, the lower high in the market. However, having said that, we know we are in a very news-driven market. We are in a tremendously uncertain market. And we can't rule out the possibility of another complete reversal or whipsaw, um, even today, as we wait on that politically driven um, event of um, stimulus and the massive hopefulness around stimulus. So we're gapping up this morning, as you can see on today's candle, and Dow futures are gapping up this morning. We're looking for some price pop and recovery here. And if we take a look at the chart in the price section here, you can see that although we left that really ugly candle pattern behind, um, yesterday, we really didn't create any major technical damage in the chart. Now, I will, however, point out that we did broke, break that uptrend, and we actually tested that uptrend as resistance right there at that high. So not a, not a good pattern, not a warm and fuzzy pattern at all, um, to be certain, but we didn't really break any major technicals. Now, that just goes to show you just how incredibly dangerous and volatile this market is. And if you're a relatively new trader or an inexperienced trader, what's likely happening is you're seeing your account just being chopped to pieces. Be careful, be careful today, letting the market continue to lead you around with these hyped up morning moves and, and um, everything going Going on in the market just be really really careful because this is a dangerous market and we could see literally anything happen over the next 24 hours as that uh, Pelosi uh, deadline draws near here today so watch that closely um, we held on to our 50 day moving average here. We didn't break that down in the Dow. So again, technically we did hold up in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. In SPY, virtually the same, we left behind a brutally ugly evening star type pattern here on the day, which would suggest more bullishness. But as you know, we have so much you know, on the line in this political uh, baloney that's going on, that um, all we can do is wait and see. And unfortunately, um, I suspect a lot of folks are seeing their accounts being just chopped to pieces, uh, chasing this around. Um, you know, it's okay, and it's okay to just stand aside. It's okay to not put yourself at risk in this market to just wait because right now it's nothing more than a gamble. All you can really do is go in. It's kind of like going to the roulette wheel. And right now that marble is spinning. That marble is spinning and we're waiting in the next 24 hours to find out where it's going to drop. Will it be red or black? Will it be bullish or bearish? We have no idea. So just be really, really careful. It's a straight up gamble. Um, as to how this will play out in the next 24 hours. But once again, keep in mind, technically speaking, we didn't break this market down. Ugly patterns, bearish patterns, lower highs being made in the market, but we're holding that 50 day moving average. It just shows us just exactly how far extended we really were to the upside. Let's take a look at the Qs, QQQ. Also same patterns where we leave behind a pretty darn ugly uh, bearish pattern here with that big old bull bearish candle yesterday leaving behind um, a lower high confirming that lower high in the market but once again holding on to some price support not giving up the major technicals in this 
and still holding above its 50-day moving average. Next 24 hours will tell the tale possibly on this stimulus deal and whether or not we will move forward. However, it will not resolve the coronavirus situation that is weighing on the market as 37 states reporting um, new increases in hospitalization and excel and acceleration in the um, infection rates uh, beginning to happen around the United States. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM had really done quite well pushing up in whoops in the um, hopes that uh, or the I should say not hopes but the actual improvement or slight improvement in the financials um, really helping things out here and I think there may be um, some merit to what's going on here that we could see some of the big techs the big industrials and things like that waver just a little bit up here and we may go uh, start sl be sliding more into favor of a small cap stocks that may catch the benefit of some of the stimulus activity in here so watch that carefully but what we looked at yesterday is kind of a bearish pattern starting to show up but once again we didn't break down any of the technicals here in the chart and IWM held up stronger than the other indexes uh, yesterday let's take a look at the VIX this guy wow um, who knows who knows what the next 24 hours will bring? Will we um, catch that fear spike and spike above that 200 day moving average? I can't tell you that. Um, what we do know is that we've been held in here by that 200. We've been held by the 50 day moving average underneath as support. And here we are pushing a 29, a 29 handle in the chart with everyone just hoping, praying, and betting that we're gonna get a stimulus deal and try to push this market to new highs. It's just um, insanity personified here as we chase around this market in massive speculation as to what comes next. Be really careful, guys. Um, um, it's just chewing people up, and if you're not frustrated in this, um, well, if you are frustrated in this, you're not alone because we've turned this uh, market into a casino betting on political spin. So let's wait and see what happens here and be really, really careful. Let's take a look at a T2122. Now this indicator has been right. And as much as we hate to admit it, this indicator has told us every time we've reached up here into um, these resistance areas that there is danger and we saw that danger play out yesterday with that big pop and drop pushing us down substantially now this morning we're looking at about a 200 point gap up in the Dow which will likely push us right back up in into these areas um, we shall see but let's keep in mind that we being in the middle of the range we've really opened up the opportunity if we do get a stimulus deal that possibility that we've got space to the upside now to move if they happen to disappoint and not get a deal done um, down here um, is certainly possible so keep that in mind it's a coin flip today uh, as to what the results uh, is going to be out of congress and whether or not the market will be happy with a deal that comes uh, or doesn't come around. Let's take a look um, at our economic calendar for today. We do have some things on this calendar that we'll want to pay attention to. Um, as you can see, we have today housing starts and permits, so that will be coming out here before the market opens. We also just have this Fed speak that just continues to go on. It's at nauseum almost. Every day they're out here uh, talking, and we have another parade of Fed speakers today, and it doesn't end until 5 p.m. today um, as those Fed speakers out there continuing to run that circuit here in the market. So not a lot of economic news today. We probably won't learn anything new from the Fed speakers, but we always want to pay attention to that. On the earnings calendar today, however, we are starting to ramp up those earnings. We have about 44 companies that um, were confirmed um, as um, reporting today, um, have confirmed that they are reporting today. And, um, if you want to see a full list of those, please jump over 
to the morning blog. I have a list of those there that are notable reports. And um, you can find that link just right below the title of this video. There'll be a link back to the morning blog. But let's take a look at some of these that really may move us around today that we'll want to pay attention to. Procter & Gamble already reported today and they reported a nice uh, beat on their earnings. So let's keep an eye on this. Procter has um, some upside potential here, as you can see, rallying through this um, upside move, breaking through some resistance in the chart, holding in this area. So if this can fire on through, there would be um, really good reason that this may reach out to more blue sky highs in Procter & Gamble. Keep a close eye on that. It's looking pretty good. Um, let's take a look. We have Netflix that will be re be reporting later on today. This will be one of our first really big tech reports um, after the bell today. So keep a close eye on this as we go throughout the day. Um, we're finding a little bit of price resistance, as you can see up here at these highs in the chart. They're going to need to probably produce pretty well if we're going to uh, push on through that resistance to the upside. Uh, take a look at um, LOGI. LOGI Logitech uh, has just been in incredibly strong here lately and as people buying up tech during um, you know staying at home uh, um, having to work from home buying up that tech and you can see gapping up substantially here this morning I would say approaching a hundred seems likely in that chart Logitech just been on an amazing run here looks like that's going to continue this morning take a look at um, MAN manpower will be reporting today as you can see this has been kind of range bound in here and this morning it looks like we're getting a little bit of burst to the upside um, so let's watch that closely. We've got a little bit of a rising low wedge pattern in here, trying to perk back up. Watch that on its earnings report. We're gonna hear from Regions Financial. We'll wanna pay attention to all those financials as they report, keep an eye on that. And then um, Snap. Snap is another tech that is going to be reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that. Um, could be a... Um, well, as you can see, very, very bullish stock could either push us to more blue sky highs or we could see that failure occur here. Watch that closely. Um, and last but not least, I'm going to cover this morning, Texas Instruments will be reporting today as well. Keep an eye on that. Texas Instruments has been running in a nice upside trend following the tech move. Um, let's keep an eye on that carefully. We're kind of channeling here in this stock, as you can see, and we've kind of reached the upper portion of that, but an earnings report could push us right on through, or we could be drifting back down toward this side of that channel. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could help me out and do me a favor, if this is the first time you have seen these videos, could you please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. If you find these videos to be helpful in how you plan your day and preparing for the way you want to approach the market for the day, if you could please click click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It helps um, me to continue to grow this channel. And I just want to say thank you to everyone. It, it's not possible without you guys. And I just am so humbled by the fact that you are um, uh, following, following this kind of content without all the hype and prediction that you might see in other places in the market. So thank you very much, everyone. I truly, truly appreciate it. Also, please feel free to share these videos on any of your social platforms to help us continue to reach new folks. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. Now, yesterday I made a move, which I normally don't make, but I made a move and picked up FCX. Now, FCX has earnings coming in on the on uh, 1022, but I think there's a pretty decent story in FCX. Copper is going to be um, a pretty hot commodity, I think, with um, all of the wind farms that are uh, could likely um, come around um, under the Biden administration if he should win, and uh, all the electric cars and all of the building. Copper has quite a story, I think, ahead of it. And right now, I, I picked that up yesterday as it was popping up. 
I do plan to close this trade prior to earnings. I don't gamble on earnings reports, but right now um, FCX holding in here pretty nicely. We may get a little bit more of a lift up here as we head toward earnings, if we can stay bullish in the market that is. So watch that closely. FCX might be something to pay attention to. A little bit of an anticipation for those earnings. Keep an eye on that. Um, let's take a look at MCD now. MCD has been holding in a incredibly strong uptrend and as you can see we popped through some resistance and we're consolidating a little bit over toward trend let's keep an eye on this as this pulls back into that trend that possibility that those bulls may perk up here and want to take that higher take a close look at that looking pretty good overall take a look at Walmart uh, Walmart is a chart that I own and even though we had a um, pretty ugly pullback yesterday in the market um, Walmart really didn't give up any price support or its trend so let's keep an eye on that if the market does turn back around and go bullish we could see um, Walmart um, move on up to the upside so keep a close eye on that um, hanging in there pretty nicely overall also want to keep an eye on LB now LB had a rough day yesterday breaking through some price resistance in the chart as you can see popped up but yesterday's ugly sell-off also had an effect here but we really haven't broken this down any rest over here toward that trend still sets up that possible opportunity higher and you can see we have some targets out here that are pretty easy to identify in that chart. So keep a close eye, LB looking pretty good overall. Um, I'm still holding NIO. Now I bought NIO over in here and I'm still holding that trade. I've got short calls against this at the 30 strike. I'm really kind of hoping I get called away on the trade. But as of right now, I'm still very comfortable holding this trade. It's looking very, very good. I had also laid out for RWO members a possible bull put credit spread on this that is um, also playing out very very well great profits in NIO and as this continues to chop under this uh, little resistance area that we've created here watch this in here as that we move closer and closer to this trend if this trend um, gets contacted again we could see that next leg higher so watch that close NIO looking pretty good and worth taking a look at SPCE SPCE space has been looking pretty good moved up a little bit yesterday but then that market pullback had some effect here I wouldn't be at all surprised to see space kind of rest or pull back into this trend um, and maybe have to test and hold on to this support here um, has earnings on 11.5 so there's still plenty of time in here if that can kind of hold up in this area we could still see that surge to the upside watch space it's looking pretty good kind of speculative but looking pretty darn good overall keep an eye on Costco Costco had a huge huge run to the upside and now we're getting a little bit of rest and yesterday that bearishness um, also affected here on um, Costco but if this can hold up in here if this continues to rest up in this area this still has that opportunity to move upside if we to the upside if we can catch some bullishness in the market watch that one closely a couple others that I want to point out take a look at Crocs Crocs has been on an amazing run I guess we really like those rubber shoes and as you can see moving up strongly um, and yesterday tried to pop and move I think we've probably extended this rally a little bit too far but a little consolidation or a little pullback into the trend could set up that next opportunity as you can see we're responding very well off of this trend here was my last alert in that trade and that's just nothing more than what we're seeing right now moving back over here into the trend so don't be too surprised if we just slip or slip and slide over to that trend and get that next opportunity higher worth putting on your list worth paying attention to uh, VMW as you remember last week I was mentioning this as it broke through this was my price alert on the chart and boy you know it's amazing how price does this it just ran right up to the next resistance in the chart and pulling back but let's keep an eye on this pullback if this pullback doesn't become too severe in this chart let's notice we have a trend here in the chart if we can hold 
we may catch that next upside opportunity in VMware. Watch that closely. Um, Berkshire B. Berkshire B has been struggling along here. And this has that potential of going either direction. If you're looking maybe for a short trade, this could set up short. Um, it could also set up long. If we take a look, if we were to fail down through this area, that could be a real problem with, for Berkshire B. But on the same note, we have these little rising, little tiny rising lows, and we're creating this symmetrical triangle here in Berkshire B. If we can get a little love or support here in the market and pop that through, Berkshire may have some upside potential if we can break that downtrend watch that one closely so lots and lots of stocks to pay attention to another one i really am keeping an eye on here is starbucks this is a pattern excuse me a pattern that i watch all the time that break of a downtrend a major downtrend like that we push through and then we pull back to test it as support now what i like about this chart as you can see is we're still responding to this trend so breaking through here um, that downtrend as we pull this back into that downtrend and this trend a little bit more rest maybe in here and then to the upside um, we might go so keep an eye on Starbucks so there's a few stocks for you to look at maybe place on your list remember these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security just something that you should be paying attention to maybe putting on a list make sure you do your own due diligence on every single trade so with that, everyone, I want to wish you all of the best. I want to wish you a great day of trading. Market is looking to gap up this morning, but be really careful chasing it. Just like yesterday, the caution that we have to have when we gap up in the morning with so much uncertainty out there, be really, really careful. Remember, one of our primary jobs as traders is to protect our capital. So keep that in mind as we move toward the open. I want to wish everyone a great day and great profits, and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Talk to you soon.